Hey everyone, Andrew Tillman here with ADSR Sounds. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about the compressor effect that comes with your machine software. Now, chances are if you've read online or a book about music production, you've come across compression. And um, it took me a really long time to understand what a compressor actually does, uh, let alone actually how to use that compressor in a mixing and mastering setting. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is first talk about um, what compression does on a general scale, and then I'll look at the effect itself and sort of talk about what the different parameters do, and then I'll go into some specific examples of how I sometimes use it in my own projects. Um, so let's take a look here at my project, and uh, before we really get into it, like I said, I want to talk about the general uh, idea of what compression is actually doing. Basically, compression is limiting the dynamic range of your signal. And it's doing that by looking at the loud parts of that signal, making those a little bit quieter, looking at the quiet parts and making those a little bit louder. And, and things are much more nuanced than that. It's not exactly going to be uh, exactly what I just said. But in a general sense, it's good to keep in mind that compression is limiting the dynamic range of your signal. Now, how it does that is all dependent on these settings here. And I'm going to start by talking about um, I have a compressor on the drum group here, and I'll talk about what these different effects, uh, what the different parameters are actually doing. Um, so if I'm going to just talk about this, I'll turn the effect on, and let's start with these first parameters. Uh, so let's take a look here. Our first option is mode. Uh, first we have classic, and we also have the option to change that over to feedback. And according to the machine manual, classic is going to be a very precise, a very clean compression effect, and feedback is going to be a little bit more character a little bit more or less perfect. Now moving on, we have some parameters relating to depth. And um, the first one here is threshold. And what this is doing is changing the point at which compression actually begins. And here is where I'm going to introduce my analogy. And I like to think of the compression effect as some little person within machine looking at your audio signal. And so he's gonna be, he's gonna be monitoring the signal and he's getting ready to turn down the volume of the signal at any specific point. And so um, the threshold is going to tell this little dude inside machine what time to start, or at what place to start turning down the signal. So if we have this all the way up at zero decibels, he's never going to start compressing the signal until the signal passes above zero decibels. And in that case, it's actually going to be clipping. On the other hand, on the other extreme, if this is all the way up to negative 60 decibels, that's basically going to be every single bit of your signal in machine because there isn't really going to be anything that's quieter than negative 60 decibels. So if it's all the way down here, he's going to be looking at all of the signal because all of that is above that really, really low threshold. And anywhere in between here, he'll only be using the compression effect, he'll only be compressing it when that signal goes above this threshold. So that is what the threshold does, basically determines at what point compression actually kicks in. Now moving on to knee, uh, chances are if you've used other compression effects, you've come across the terms hard knee and soft knee. Now a soft knee in machine is all the way down here at 0%, and this is going to sort of gradually ease into a compressed signal. Um, the loud parts, the parts that are really far above this threshold, are going to be compressed more than the soft parts. In a hard knee, it's going to be a very, very drastic change from the uncompressed signal to the compressed signal as soon as any audio passes over this threshold, it's immediately going to be compressed. So a soft knee is sort of a more a more subtle addition rather as or as opposed to a hard knee. And you can obviously do any mix of the two. Now moving on, we also have amount. And this is machine's term for ratio. Like I said, um, a more traditional compression effect would have ratio in terms of amount, it would have hard knee or soft knee. Um, but anyways, the amount is actually how much the signal is compressed. And by compressed, we're talking about how much the gain is reduced. So if we have this all the way down at 0%, the signal isn't going to be compressed, the gain isn't going to be reduced at all. Um, but if we have it all the way up here, the volume is going to be turned all the way down until the uh, until the signal is the same level of the threshold. And um, let's talk about our analogy here of this of this guy inside machine looking at the audio signal here. Um, so if it's at 0%, he's going to be monitoring the signal as we as we talked about with our threshold. He's gonna see the audio signal pass above that threshold value, but he's not going to turn on the volume because our amount is at 0%. He's not actually been told to turn down the volume no matter what happens. Um, but if the amount is up here somewhere, he's going to look at that audio signal and he's gonna say, oh, it's above this threshold, so I need to turn down the volume 
And since the amount is up at 77% here, I'm going to turn it down quite a bit and I will reduce this dynamic range. Um, so that covers it for those three parameters relating to depth. Let's do a quick rundown. Threshold is the point at which actually compression begins. Knee is how quickly the signal changes from compressed to uncompressed. And amount is how much the gain is reduced by after it passes the threshold. Okay, so um, if you need a recap of those, you can go ahead and uh, just play with those if you want, or go ahead and read the manual. But that is a general overview of those three parameters there. Now let's move on to the time parameters. Um, so attack here is how quickly the compressor responds. Uh, so going back to our analogy, if this little guy is in machine and he sees the signal pass above the threshold, he's been told to wait a little bit if our attack is, is really high here. He's going to see that the signal pass over the threshold, but he's going to wait a little bit and then turn down the volume, as opposed to a very fast attack. He's going to see that, that volume pass above the threshold and then he's going to be immediately turning on the volume no no uh, no waiting at all now one effect of the attack is um, how much of the transients passes through the compressor and the transients or uh, the transient signals are those very beginning attack points of your samples uh, so if you have a high attack it's going to wait a little bit and those transients are going to pass through the compressor but if you have a very fast attack everything is going to be compressed because there is no waiting at all uh, so you can sort of think of the attack as how quickly the compressor responds um, and how quickly it's going to affect your signal. Now release is sort of the opposite of that. It's how quickly things return back to normal. So going back to our analogy, um, if our little guy is in there turning down the volume and the signal has passed uh, below the threshold, so it no, no longer needs to be compressed, if the release is at a very low point, very fast, he's going to immediately send that volume back to its normal value. However, if we have a long release, he's going to wait a little bit and then, uh, and then eventually bring it back to the normal value. Uh, so release is determining how quickly the compressor uh, sort of turns off and everything goes back to the status quo. And now finally, we have gain over here, and this is just going to determine how, how loud that output signal is. And uh, you can sort of use that to make up any volume lost after you have compressed and limited the dynamic range of your signal.